The gadgets and appliances that make modern living so comfortable have one thing in common, they all need power. Over the past few years, as people have turned away from gas-guzzling generators, portable power stations have enjoyed a meteoric rise. Whether you're camping for the weekend living off-grid or protecting against power outages, these big batteries can help. In this video, we are going to give you an impartial review when we are covering 5 Best Portable Power Stations 2025 in the market which are the best for you. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular user use, if you want more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video, be sure to check the links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's get started. Number 1. Jackery Explorer 2000 Plus This Jackery system ticks a lot of boxes. It's versatile, expandable, durable, and dependable. The Explorer 2000 Plus has a decent mix of ports with support for fast charging your gadgets. You can double or triple the 2042 watt hour capacity by adding battery packs they stack neatly and it works as an emergency power supply EPS. The LifePo 4 battery should be good for 10 years and Jackery has various protective mechanisms to reduce the risk of anything going wrong. In my tests the capacity consistently matched up with Jackery's claims. It had no trouble with the kettle test UK kettles hit 3000 watts though it chewed through 6%. You can charge it speedily from the mains AC outlet, but I also filled it from 32% in a single scorching day with Jackery's Solar Saga 200W solar panel. Number 2. Bluetti AC200L The AC200L from established power brand Bluetti has a LifePo 4 battery inside with a 2048 watt hour capacity. There are plenty of ports here, and this power station can charge phones or laptops and happily run a fridge or TV. It passed my UK kettle test when exceeding the 2,400 watt maximum output. Surge mode kicks in to afford you a couple of minutes at up to 3,600 watts, but boiling a full kettle claimed 10%. Performance was good with smaller gadgets and less demanding appliances. It came close to providing the stated capacity managing more than 90% in one test, but dipping below 80 in another. It is also expandable up to 8,196 watt-hours with Bluetti's B210, B230, or B300 batteries. Even under a heavy load, the AC200L fans are quiet. Number 3. Anchor Solix C1000 As a big fan of Anchor's power banks, I was excited when the company launched a line of portable power stations, and the Solix Ki 1000 did not disappoint. This Life PO 4 battery promises a decade of use and packs a 1056 watt hour capacity, which you can double with a Beep 1000 expansion battery, $800. The charcoal and gray design with blue highlights and a silver power button looks classy. Built in handles make it fairly easy to carry. It weighs just shy of 30 pounds. The limited capacity and maximum output make this suitable for topping off small gadgets, but it had no trouble powering a small fridge, TV, and power drill. I also tested with a hair dryer, and the surge handled it. The Solix C1000 consistently performed well in my tests, was capable of fast charging most phones, and worked well as an un uninterruptible power supply with a 20 millisecond delay. The LED bar on the front has three brightness levels, which is very handy for camping. Number 4. Goal Zero Yeti 1500X I managed to get 1,511 watt-hours out of Goal Zero's Yeti 1500X. That's enough power to keep your fridge humming through an outage. But the 1500X is portable enough to take with you. I stopped using ridiculously long extension cords and instead just brought the 1500X out to where I needed power. With a 2000 watt output rating, it had no trouble running power tools, refrigerators, and everything else I could find. It has a decent selection of ports too, two USB-C ports, two USB ports, and a regulated 12 volt cigarette lighter style port. The only downside is that there are only two 120 volt AC ports. You can charge the Yeti off solar or by plugging it in, 
and the Yeti app is nice for monitoring power usage and battery life, as well as getting notifications and upgrading firmware. Number 5. EcoFlow River 2 Pro By far the most portable power station in our guide, the EcoFlow River 2 Pro weighs just 17 pounds and has a large handle along the back. The Life P04 battery inside is good for 7, 6, 8 watt hours, and I managed to squeeze a little more out of it in my tests. The ports are great for camping trips, with everything you need to charge small gadgets. Using the X-Boost Surge, you can power small appliances, but I wouldn't risk a hair dryer or a UK kettle. The River 2 Pro can also function as an EPS with a 30 millisecond delay. The EcoFlow app is slick, and you can connect via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi but you don't really need it. The River 2 Pro takes over an hour to charge from wall power and has a standard X60 connector for solar panels, but the fan can get noisy. It doesn't always kick in when charging smaller gadgets, but with more demanding things plugged in or when you recharge it, the River 2 Pro makes a bit of a racket. My Apple Watch says as high as 57 decibels.